Hey guys, this is going to be another Java game programming tutorial. In this series I'm going to be doing a platformer which will be tile based. So this is going to be a pretty big leap from the previous tutorial. Um, again, I'm going to be starting from scratch, no IDEs, no outside libraries. So let's get started. Um, Actually, the first few minutes of this is just going to be me making the game loop. If you want to skip it, go ahead. Otherwise, if you want a refresher, you can keep watching. Uh, so I'm just going to do this real quick. Static void main. New JFrame. Um, or we'll call this platformer. Set default close operation. Game panel content pane. Pack and set visible. Don't forget to import this thing. Um, Swing J frame. Okay. And import some stuff in game panel. Make the class game panel. This is going to extend. Game panel extend. Gate panel. Implement. I was wondering why it wasn't changing color. Um, implements runnable. Okay. We're gonna need static file int width. Keep us small at 400. 400. Thread. Running. Um. What else? We need image and the graphics we're gonna need FPS and the target time in milliseconds a thousand divided by FPS okay so constructor set the preferred size And set focusable, focusable, request focus, add notify, start up the thread, this, um, thread.start. I'm going to be doing something different here. I'm going to put everything we initialize into this function called init just to keep it a little more organized. So stuff like running image and graphics goes in here. Buffer image type int RGB. Get the graphics. Okay, now we're going to need some stuff. Now we're going to start the game loop. Get the current time. Update, render, and draw. And get the URD time in milliseconds. Divide that by a million. Target time minus your D time. And we're gonna sleep. Catch. Catch. 
exception. Okay. It's just gonna make a separator there. Update render and draw. Again, draw is gonna be simple. It's just this. Draw image zero zero null and dispose. Alright. Yeah. Okay, now we can actually get started on our tile map. So, let me just compile this first. Uh oh, I'm missing a semicolon after a request focus. Okay. Oh, and I spelled with wrong. With. Okay. Now let's make our new tile map class. For the tile map, we are going to be reading from an outside file. So we're going to need to import some IO. Also import aught star. So the tile map, we're going to need a couple things. We're going to need an X and a Y. This is going to be our offset for scrolling. And we need tile size and our actual map. This is going to be a 2D int array. Okay, so now let's do our constructor. We're going to give it the name of the file and some tile size. This dot tile size is equal to tile size. Okay, now let's actually read from the file. We have to put it in a try catch. Exception e something. Okay, I'm gonna use a buffered reader wrapped wrapping a file reader. New file reader, and I'm gonna give it the file name s. So before we get going, let's actually create a test map here. You can call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it test map dot text. Open that up. We're going to need to put a couple of things in here. First thing is the width of the map in tiles. That's going to be 20 tiles across and 15 tiles high. So that's 20, 10, Okay, 20 across and 15 down, um, yeah, so now I'm just going to make it look like a bunch of ones with a zero border all around it. The zeros are going to be the unwalkable blocks. These are the blocks that you can't walk on. And the ones are going to be the free blocks that you can go through, like air or something. So let's have something here, I guess. I don't know, I'm just going to put a bunch of blocks. Uh, I guess that's good. Okay, just random. So first we're going to read, again, first two lines, width and height. So private int map width and private int map height. The width and height in tiles, not pixels. Map width is equal to, we're going to parse uh, the line that we're going to read. And then we're going to read the next line and parse that. Oops readline. Okay. Now that we have that, we can actually create the map. I, I always get confused with like 2D arrays. Which one goes first, the width or height? Height or width? But now I've remembered it's always height, width, row, uh, column, and yx. 
visually for me. That's how I remember it. So next thing on the list is delimiters. We want to actually read this thing. So we're going to set the delimiter to one space and row. I always use row and column for 2D arrays. Um, map height, row plus plus. Um, map width and column plus plus. Okay. So first we want to read the line. And then we want to tokenize it using split line dot split using our delimiters and now we're going to read it into the map integer dot parse int uh, tokens and column position so yeah that should be it for that we're going to have again like always um, the two functions update and draw the graphics 2D G. Okay. Now drawing the tile map is relatively simple. You're gonna obviously need to go through the 2D array, so use the two for loops. Um, height and column map width column plus plus. Okay, now let's just get the current value of the row and column we're in. Row, column. We're gonna make the zeros uh, black. If rc is zero, then set color, color.black, and we're gonna make the one's white. Color dot white. Okay. And now uh, we're gonna fill. Fill rectangle. This one on uh, the x coordinate. We need to make sure we get the x offset in there. And we're gonna add the column times the tile size. Here we need the y offset. Row times tile size, and then just tile size, tile size for the last two. So that should be it for tile map. Go back into game panel. And up here, let's make a new tile map. Private tile map. Let's call it um, tile map. And over here in init, we're going to initialize it. New tile map. Give it the map name. We named ours test.map testmap.txt, or testmap.txt, I mean, and tile size of 32. So updates, obviously, everything that we want in the game goes in here, tilemap.updates, and tilemap.draw, g. Let's compile, oh, nice, no problems, run, and here's our tile map just a bunch of blocks. So that's gonna get us started um, for now. Uh, this is the end of this first video. In the next video we will finish up tile map and create a player that can move around the tile and hopefully I can squeeze in scrolling. So thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.